let us begin with the chapter give and take now this is an ant its name is kitu it has a home and it has 100 rooms in its home isn't it huge it wants you to help her paint her home now if you can see there are 100 rooms and 10 rooms are arranged in each row one above the other it starts from room 2 now kitu wants to add 10 to 2 to reach room 12 and paint it to add 10 to 2 we can go all the way to the right to 10 then up to 11 and one step right to 12 there is another way to reach 12 because we know each row is made up of 10 rooms so we can directly jump up one row to reach 12 so a jump from 2 to 12 is like taking 10 steps Now try one jump from 14 to 24 as we know 14 plus 10 as in every jump we have 10 rooms so where will we reach we will reach the number 24 how will i go from 22 to 41 So look at the number 22 if we jump one row above we will reach the number 32 with one more jump we can reach the number 42 but we have to reach the number 41 so we will take one step towards the left to reach the number 41 we can write it like this 22 plus 20 because we have jumped two rows above it will be 42 then we have moved one step towards the left so 42 minus 1 will give us 41 how many steps did i go in all we moved 19 steps we could have also gone the other way first from 22 we could have taken one step towards the left to reach 21 then we could have jumped two rows above to reach 41 and we could have written it like 22 minus 1 is equal to 21 21 plus 20 is equal to 41 now let us try these on kitu's home 10 less than 34 is less than means to subtract or to minus for which we will need to jump one row down now look at the number 34 if we jump one row down we will reach the number 24 53 minus 20 look at the number 53 now jump two rows down we will reach 33 11 more than 31 is now look at the number 31 jump one row above and then move one step towards the right we will reach the number 42 11 less than 66 is now look at the number 66 less than means to subtract or to minus that means we have to jump one row down we will reach the number 55 62 plus 13 look at the number 62 jump one row above and then move three steps towards the right we will reach the number 75 23 less than 
Now look at the number 89, jump 2 rows down and then 3 steps towards the left, we will reach the number 66, 10 and 40 more. That means we have to add 40 to 10 which will give us 50, 9 added to 28 gives, look at the number 28, we have to add 9 to it. So first we can add 10, we will jump one row above and then one step towards the left which will give us 37. The sum of 9 and 44 is, look at the number 44, we will jump one row above, we will reach on 54, then we will step one towards the left, we will get 53. Reducing 98 by 34 gives, reducing means to subtract or to minus, so we will jump down 3 rows, look at the number 98, we will jump 3 rows down, we will reach the number 68 and then 4 steps towards the left will give us 64, 4 and 37 more, more means to add, so we will get the number 41. Take 35 away from 83, we get, look at the number 83, we have to subtract or minus, so we will jump down 3 rows, we will reach on 53, we will step 5 towards the left because we have to subtract 35 and we will reach on the number 48. Now let us solve these. What number is equal to 37 plus 10? So imagine 37, jump one row above, we will get 47. 37 plus 9. So we will jump one row above and then step towards the left to reach our answer. Now let us see how we will write it. 37 plus 10 is equal to 47, 47 minus 1 is equal to 46, so our answer will be 46, 62 minus 30, so imagine we are on 62, we will jump 3 rows down, we will get 32, now what is equal to 46 plus 28. So imagine the number 46, we have to add 28. So first we can add 30. So jump 3 rows above, we will reach 76. Then 2 steps towards the left and we will reach on 74. What number is equal to 87 minus 30? We will jump 3 rows down and we will reach on the number 57. Now 62 minus what number will be equal to 43? We can easily do it by subtracting 43 from 62. So jumping 4 steps or 4 rows down and then taking 3 steps towards the left, we will reach on the number 19. 45 plus what is equal to 99? We will add the number 54 to it. What plus 26 is equal to 75? We can find it by subtracting 26 from 75, we will get 49. What minus 1 is equal to 1? This one is very easy. 
2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 36 is equal to what number minus 8? So, if we add 8 to 36, we can find our answer and our answer will be 44. 43 plus what is equal to 74? If we subtract 43 from 74, we will find our answer 31. 100 is equal to what plus 50? It is a very easy question. The answer will be 50. 57 minus what is equal to 20? So, if we subtract 20 from 57, that means we will go 2 steps down, we will get the answer 37. I hope the concept of give and take is clear to everyone. Happy learning!